In life, to be great, we need knowledge and skill. According to me, apart from knowledge and skill, we need to have a mentor who helps us to reach our goals better and faster. When it comes to me, it makes me shine like glowing wood and decided and discovered the potential in me and told me to be sincere and true in whatever I do. He's none other than my father, my mentor. On this note, very good evening, Master Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guest. So, what is a mentor? Who is a mentor? To just give a textbook definition, mentor is a person who provides guidance and support and empower us to reach our goal, goals. Each and everyone should have a mentor in his life to reach his goals with confidence and determination. It just not only guides us, but makes sure that we choose the path which is best for us and also be with us until we reach our goals. So a mentor can be in the form of parents, teachers, friends, or it can be a person who we are comfortable with sharing our thoughts, sharing our vision, sharing of who we wanted to be and giving that leverage to mentor us. Mentor uses his personal experiences, guidance, to personal experience and uh, knowledge to guide us. He knows the perfect mixture and balance between sharing his knowledge, experiences, and giving the leverage for us to learn our own at the same time. He creates this positive environment by giving the immense confidence and unconditional love and support in whatever we do, irrespective of whatever we do. Not only just giving the support in respect of whatever we do, but also he makes sure that when we fail or when we step back, he comes to us and gives us constructive feedback without putting us down. When we get this constructive feedback without he putting us down, we get this immense confidence that we can achieve that who we always wanted to be. With this constructive feedback, we can make sure that we face all the problems and be a better person and a person who, who we always wanted to be. When it comes to my life, without any second doubt, it's my father who is my mentor. This is the relationship which I cherish the most in my life and it's him whom I look up in the time of guidance and also the, my father gave the best gift that anyone can give to any other person in this in this world, it's nothing but believing in me. He believed in me in whatever I do. Here, I would like to give a few instances which has happened in my life. So, during my 10th standard, I was, uh, after completion of my 10th standard examination, I was pretty sure that I was uh, going to take e-commerce as my specialization because uh, I was very fond of money and uh, doing business in my career. Uh, so, uh, career, so, uh, the person who worked with me doubted my decision and said to me that, I have chosen the road, uh, wrong path and I am not in the right direction. But that point of time, my pa father stood with me and said that I have the right path and gave me the correct mentoring and support in whatever things I do. Uh, after that, I chose to do commerce and from that day I was I have a dream of becoming an entrepreneur. He said to me that you can't do the things what we love the most. When we do the things what we love the most, we're going to give 100% best. When we go to give 100% best, we're going to make sure that we're going to achieve it. That's what he always says to me. And also he says that we need to do the things what we love and that's what inspires me. That's what I'm doing for three years since. So after this, he says that, I mean, after moving that, uh, he's in, he himself being a successful businessman, he always inspires me and taught me many things. From basic things like how to shake the hands with other people, how to talk and how to build a network and how to be an effective communicator. So today, the one thing that always inspires me by seeing him on the, that instant capacity that he has is going out with the people, meeting new people, making instant network and connection, which has made me a sociable and a very experienced person. So today I can proudly say that with my help of my father, I am very extra of people who I can talk out to the people who I always wanted to and I can speak out my mind. <coughs> So here I would like to give a small example again what happened in my life. Uh, so back then I was in my ninth grade uh, where I was in this person of coming on the stage and speaking or I was not a person who was having this confidence of going out and uh, mingling, mingling with people. I went to my dad and said that, Dad, that's something that's holding me back from expressing my thoughts. And it's something that's holding me back from not being myself. From that day onwards he constantly mentored me, gave me, gave me the thoughts and lessons which has made me the person whoever I am today. Today I'm pretty sure that I'm that I can express whatever I wanted to express. From there, I have been into, from my colleges, I have completed all the six public speaking projects, I have been <coughs> doing, the, doing my, all the internships and doing my lecture talks, and many more, and being a biker into a keyboard player, and many more which has been inspired by him. He always says that relationship and humanity is one of the greatest things to be a successful person and a successful in the things in whatever we do. Uh, so, even though I had an option of just staying in my aunt's house, I have my parents stay in my place for a business purpose, he sent me to stay in a hostel because hostel is a place where you're gonna, you're gonna get the real life exposure, real life experience which you could make into a, um, which you can use to make you a better person. So I was literally confused and I wasn't agreeing with my dad because it was a new place and I wasn't wanted to go there. But due to his uh, encouragement, I somehow made a choice, made a choice of just going to the hostel and learning the new things. Today I'm not 
regretting that part because after going to a hostel, I'm pretty sure that I can say that I, I can do the things completely on my own. I mean, not entirely, but certain things where I, couldn't be, where I, I won't depend on other people. I've learned many things like value of your family, value of relationship, value of food, the value of money, many, many things which wouldn't be possible if I wouldn't have gone to the hostel. Right? Even though if I had been in the hostel, my dad is constantly mentoring me, giving me the support of being whoever I wanted to be and helping me in all the things. He's inspiring me with his thoughts, with his philosophies, with his ideas, which is inculcated to be and be the part of my life. I know no matter what, he's, he, he, will be, he will be with me. So mentoring is an art and it's, it should come from a heart. When it, will, when it comes from the heart, we can make sure the person who is getting mentored will reach the place that he always wanted to. Thank you, Lord, to you, MC.